looking for videos on short stories so that you can prepare for the NTA UGC NET English exam? If that's the case, then you are at the right place. Welcome to the Crash Course series on the Unit 3 fiction in which we are going to specifically deal with the short story writers. I have already uploaded a fantastic video on American short story writers and their famous short stories. If you have not yet watched it, then it's time to do that. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about some amazing British short story writers and their remarkable short stories. Also, I would like to suggest to you that I have updated a detailed course uh, which contains all the topics which is a part of the new syllabus. So if you want to prepare for UGC NET English, then you can check out the detailed list of writers and topics available exclusively on arpatakarva.com. The link of the same is given in the description below. On top of the list is the great British writer George Orwell. George Orwell is famous for his novel 1984 and also for his novel Animal Farm. But what makes this man special is that he also wrote a bunch of short stories which are remarkable and which are still read by professors and students of English literature. We all must remember the fact that George Orwell was writing under a pen name. His real name was Eric Arthur Blair and he was born in Motihari, Bihar. Later, he went to Burma to serve as a police officer in the British Army. Now, when he was in Burma serving as a police officer, he found that there was a very special incident on which he wanted to write a short story. So this short story that is shooting an elephant was actually written uh, based on an incident which happened in front of uh, George Orwell's eyes and therefore the story is autobiographical in nature. Basically the story talks about uh, an incident that happened in which there was an elephant which was terrorizing the people of Burma in the bazaar. So but the elephant killed somebody and then destroyed some shops. This man George Orwell who was acting as the police officer there, he decided that he is going to go and kill the elephant. But later when he went in order to search for the elephant, he found that the elephant is sitting quietly in the jungle and eating the fruits from a tree. So he decided that let me not kill the elephant. But then he was shocked to see that all the people of Burma were behind him and they were cheering that the elephant should be killed. So just because of the societal pressure and just because he doesn't wanted that people should consider him a coward, he killed the elephant. And then there was a, a jury meeting in which uh, people supported, some people supported him, some people were against him and a law case was uh, set in order to find out whether what he did was correct or not. Next in line of the famous British short story writer is James Joyce. We all remember James Joyce and his famous work Ulysses. Also, I'm pretty sure that you must have heard about his another important work that is Portrait of Artist as a Young Man. But what we don't know is that he also wrote a short story collection which was known as Dub Liners. Now this short story collection had 15 short stories. Three out of these 15 were narrated in the first person whereas 12 of the 15 stories were narrated in the third person. All these stories talked about residents of uh, Dublin which is a part of Ireland. So each story focuses on one resident and all these stories focuses on different residents coming from different social cultural background. What makes this work special is that this work has been asked repeatedly in NET exam. In August 2016, they asked the question that what is the title of a short story collection published by James Joyce in the year 1914? And the correct answer, of course, is Dubliners. Next British writer who has written some really fantastic short stories is Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde, as we all know, is closely associated with the aesthetic movement. He has written this beautiful work called Picture of Dorian Gray, uh, in which he talks about what aestheticism is all about. He has also written a very famous short story with the title Nightingale and the Rose. As from the title itself, you can guess that the story revolves around Nightingale and the effort of Nightingale in order to create a perfect rose. 
but the climax is really sad nightingale dies without uh, having created a perfect rose so nightingale was really sad and the uh, student who is watching this entire episode narrates it in the third person omniscient narrator style there are some other important uh, short stories written by Oscar Wilde which we discuss in our online course. Another important British writer who mastered the art of storytelling was Charles Dickens. We all know this man when we read his classic works like David Copperfield, Oliver Twist, Tale of Two Cities. But do you know the fact that he also mastered the art of short story writing? He wrote some amazing short stories out of which two are very important from net point of view. The first one I'm pretty sure you must have read in your childhood days that's Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol is a beautiful story in which there's a man who is really uh, bad in nature. He is very ill-tempered and this man on the day of Christmas sees three uh, dreams. In one dream, he f sees the ghost of Christmas past. In other dream, he sees the ghost of Christmas present. And in the final dream, he sees the ghost of Christmas future. And when he looks at all the three dreams, he is amazed and he is terrified to see the kind of bad deeds he has done till now. And he decides that he is going to amend the ways he has been living his life. So that's a beautiful short story. Another short story is Signal Man. Signal Man is a airy ghost story written by Charles Dickens in which he is looking at a railway signal man and how this railway signal man is haunted uh, when he sees ghosts in the railway station. So the uh, author creates amazing haunted atmosphere just like the horror movies and this atmosphere is very similar to a graveyard so it's a classic story i think you should read it if you love to watch horror movies i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it so these were some amazing british authors who wrote short stories and who have created a mark in the history of english literature i would be uploading new videos on this topic in the crash course series wherein i would be discussing some amazing european short story writers and i'm pretty sure you're going to love the video so if you want to get notified about the video it's time to hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon right next to it also you can follow me on all the social media platforms so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video or a new audio in my course so that's it for this video lecture we'll meet soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com